Hey church family, welcome to Pause to Pray at our new time for the rest of the year on Wednesdays. It uh, is a very windy day down here at the river. It is a beautiful fall that we have been having, but man, uh, the weather is changing today and uh, the wind is just whipping down here. So hopefully this video doesn't sound too crazy and staticky for you. Uh, there's lots to be praying about today and uh, man, I wish I could have brought this prayer update yesterday. It's because of some scheduling problems I've got with this fall and all the changes going on that I just couldn't get out for uh, uh, doing pause to pray in time to get the video up on Tuesdays. So uh, yesterday though, had a few prayer requests come in and a few uh, about uh, coming up this week. So I want to let you know about those. Yesterday, first of all, just to let you know, um, I was talking to uh, Christina uh, Reedy. Reedy, her son SJ was uh, in Sick Kids Hospital in London yesterday and has been able to make good progress on uh, on a situation with him. He's back home, but uh, but he was checked out by doctors there because you know sometimes you just need to go right to the place where you're going to actually get the pediatric care um, rather than general doctors in an ER. So. Uh, SJ is improving, but please keep SJ in your prayers. Uh, there's doctors looking into a situation with him. Uh, and uh, so keep SJ and Christina in your prayers right now. Uh, and we will give you any updates that we can. Uh, right now it's just testing. So that's what's going on. I uh, want to let you know too that we've got some exciting things coming up later this week. Uh, so please be in prayer for Jeremy Ford. He's sharing his testimony on Sunday and that's going to be just an awesome time of uh, beginning this new series that's going to be interspersed throughout the life of sermon series and whatever else we do in the church and it's going to be called This Is My Story and uh, I was privileged to be part of a church in Saskatchewan that did this regularly years and years and years ago and uh, the This Is My Story theme uh, is just such a powerful uh, testimony theme to weave into the life of a church as we get to know different people and the way that God has been working in their lives over the many years that God's given them. So really looking forward to hearing from Jeremy Ford on Sunday and be praying for him, please. Uh, we are also looking forward to dedicating Atticus uh, Morton on Sunday. So Cameron and Emily and Atticus are going to be joining me at the front for an awesome time of celebrating uh, Atticus's life in uh, joining our church family. And so we're going to be dedicating him on Sunday. So be praying for uh, the Morton family as well this week. I want to let you know that uh, Ron Smith is recovering from esophagus surgery. Uh, so keep him in your prayers. That operation took place last Thursday and the recovery is going well. So be, uh, be praying for Ron and Brenda. They've been through a lot this year with Ron with a stroke earlier on in March. And uh, this surgery is one he's been waiting for for a long time, which is actually a really good thing that it's he got it and it's done. And now he's just in this recovery season. Uh, Yes, and uh, one more thing we want to be praying for this week is uh, Joel Britton's recovery as he comes through um, a really difficult season and um, he's still just in it, but we want to be praying for Joel. We want to be praying for others in and around the church family too who are struggling with mental health and, uh, and mental health struggles can be so difficult because the support structures are often not there for people to consistently get help uh, throughout the day or night when they need it. So we want to be praying for Joel and for the Britton family. So thankful that uh, that he is working through this and uh, and we want to pray that the, the incremental change that happens continues to happen by God's grace. And, uh, and we're really glad to see um, some great steps forward recently for Joel. So we want to pray for him. Uh, so there's lots to pray for. There's some, some difficult situations like with SJ and we want to be praying that they get some answers to figure out what's going on with SJ in the testing. Uh, there's some really exciting things like de dedicating babies and sharing testimonies and your life has stuff going on in it too right now I'm sure. I'm sure you've got some highs and lows over the past week and we want to begin by coming before God wherever you are today, whatever is going on and coming before him in prayer asking for what we need, our daily bread, right? Which may be food, may be strength, may be perseverance for you, whatever it might be. So let's let's do that together. I'm just gonna lead us in the Lord's Prayer and then I'm gonna pray about some of these requests. Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, we pray for all the requests in our church family, those we know about, those that have been just shared in private, those that are going on in our own lives that we need help with. Lord, we bring it all to you right now. And we join our voices together in prayer, even though we are separated in time and space right now, you still hear our voices and you still see your whole church coming before you in prayer. So thank you for that, God. We pray for the needs that have been listed already. We pray for Ron Smith's recovery. We pray for answers for SJ and the health concerns that he has. We pray, Lord, that you would bless the Morton family. We pray, Lord, that as Atticus grows, you would grow him up to be a man of God. God, we pray that you would continue to bless Joel in his uh, recovery as he makes incremental changes in his life to begin new patterns. Lord, we pray for all these requests knowing that you are faithful, that you are so good, that you have been at work and you will continue to be at work. Help us to get a new paradigm, a new perspective, to understand the ways that you are constantly working and yet to understand the ways that we come to you in prayer asking for change, asking for something new, asking for breakthroughs. And Lord, we praise you when we see breakthroughs and we continue to come and we continue to plead for the areas in our lives where we haven't seen breakthrough yet. For our loved ones, for ourselves, for situations we are in. Lord, we pray for breakthroughs today. We pray for a breakthrough with SJ and answers for what's going on with him. Lord, we pray that Jeremy sharing his testimony on Sunday would bring breakthrough into someone's life. That, that hearing Jeremy's story would be an encouragement because we recognize that you are at work in everyone's lives in different ways and sometimes in, in ways that are very similar to our own and it's so encouraging when we hear that. So God, for any way that you are going to break through this week, Lord, we pray that your hand would be on these people that we've prayed for, on the situations that we aren't even aware of yet, but Lord, we pray for your mercy and your grace on them. I pray for your mercy and grace on each one praying with me today, each one in our church family. And as we pray, we join our voices with your whole church throughout time and space, throughout this whole world, throughout different cultures and regions. And God, thank you that you've made us one family. We love you, Lord. Thank you that you are the one father of us all through faith in Jesus. So help us to live for Jesus today. Help us to trust Jesus as we follow him today. Holy Spirit, guide us and we ask for your blessing on this day. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thanks, church family, for praying with me today for these requests and for whatever's going on in your life. And don't hesitate to reach out if there's something we can pray for you about, whether it gets included in the email or the video or just between me or you or somebody else that you share it with. Ask for prayer. Be obedient in prayer. Be diligent in prayer. And you'll find that God is right there with you through it all, as he always is. So. Love you, church family. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time.